Hello all my Ohio high school football fans out there. Welcome to the Buckeye Vinny YouTube channel. They call me the face of high school football. And my friends, 14 Ohio high school teams have just punched their ticket to the Ohio high school football state finals coming up this Friday and this Saturday at Tom Benson Stadium in Canton, Ohio. Let's get right into it with the big boys. Division 1. We have the St. Ed's Eagles coming in, coached by Tom Lombardo. 14-1 record, taking on Springfield. 13-1, coached by Maurice Douglas. Let me tell you, these two teams are not strangers to one another. They got it on last year in the finals. St. Ed's beat Springfield last season, 23-13, to to capture the state crown. And let me run down some stats here. Number one, St. Ed's, no strangers to the state championship game. They have brought the title back to Cleveland and their school history, five state titles for Lakewood St. Ed's Eagles. Again, they average 35 points a game on offense, and they give up a stingy four points a game only on defense throughout the playoffs. They're taking on a 13-1 Springfield team. They average 32 points a game on offense and giving up only 10 points a game. This is a very good team, but my friends, I'm just going to say this. I like St. Ed's Eagles to repeat as state champs for Division I. Moving on, Division II. We have Hoban Knights taking on Toledo Central Catholic. Hoban Knights coming in at 14-1, coached by Tim Terrell. What a job he has done all season long. Hoban averaging 45 points a game on defense, only giving up 12 points a game throughout the playoffs. Toledo Central Catholic, coached by Greg Dempsey, 14-1. They're coming in potent offense as well, averaging 42 points a game, only giving up 16 points a game. My friends, let me just tell you this. Akron Hoban, we all know they put a beat down against the Maslin Tigers, 41-20. This team is the real deal. They are led by All-State Lamar Sperling, had five touchdowns against a good Hudson team, and ran all over the Maslin Tigers. Hoban, let's not forget, five state titles they have brought back to their school. I'm looking at this. Toledo Central Catholic, they're no strangers to the state finals. They've won three in their school history, but I like Hoban to win this game beating Toledo Central Catholic. Moving on to Division Three, Canfield Cardinals, 13-1, taking on Bloom Carroll, 14-1. We have head coach for Canfield, Mike Pavlansky. What a job this man has done in his career for Canfield. Canfield on offense, led by their star quarterback, Lowry, full ride to Indiana. Lowry and that offense averaging 31 points a game throughout the playoffs, on defense, giving up 15. Bloom Carroll, coached by Jeremy McKenney, averaging 31 a game and only giving up 11. These two teams are so similar with the offenses and the defenses. They both kind of run the same style. They both have very good quarterbacks, good defenses. My friends, I'm just going to say this. This will be Canfield's second appearance to the state finals. 2005, they lost that heartbreaker to Toledo Central Catholic, 31-29. to I like the Canfield Cardinals and Mike Pavlansky to get it done, beating Bloom Carroll. Moving on, Division 4. We have Cleveland Glenville, perfect 14-0. Taking on Cincinnati, Wyoming, 15-0. What more can you say about these two squads? We have iconic coach for Glenville, Teddy Ginn Sr. Phenomenal man. They love him at Glenville. It's almost like he's a dad first to those young men and then coaching second. My friends, 
Glenville, potent offense, averaging 47 a game on offense throughout the playoffs, giving up only 12 points on defense. We have Cincinnati, Wyoming, coached by Aaron Hancock, averaging 32 points a game on offense throughout the playoffs and giving up a stingy five points a game. And check out this stat. Throughout the 15 games Wyoming has played in 2022, they have shut out their opponents 10 out of 15 games. Wow. And in the past five seasons, Cincinnati, Wyoming, a remarkable 64 wins and only three losses. I like Cincinnati, Wyoming to win this game. Moving on, Division 5. Undefeated South Range, 15-0. Taking on undefeated Ironton, 15-0. South Range coached by Dan Yeagley. What a phenomenal job he's done. Throughout the playoffs, South Range Raiders offense averaging 40 a game. On defense, stingy. Throughout the playoffs, giving up only eight. Wow. Ironton coached by Trevin Pendleton. Very similar to South Range. Throughout the playoffs, averaged 41 a game. On defense, just like South Range, gave up eight. This is going to be a true battle. Without a doubt, Ironton, no strangers to state final appearances. They've won two state titles. They've lost eight. On the other hand, South Range will be traveling for their first state title in South Range Raider history. I like South Range to defeat Ironton in a very great battle. Division 6, we have the Kirkland Hornets, 15-0, taking on Marion Stein Local, 15-0. Wow. Kirkland, head coach, Tiger Laverde, love this guy's name, no strangers to state titles. He's won six as the head coach for Kirkland. This is a team coming in averaging 40 points a game in the playoffs, giving up a stingy three points a game. And in the past six seasons, check this out, my friends. Coach Laverde's record, 84-2 and two in the last six seasons. Wow. Taking on Marion Stein Local, coached by Tim Goodwin. What a job he's done, averaging 44 points a game throughout the playoffs. And what more can you say here on defense? This is a Marion Stein local team that has shut out their opponents throughout the year 11 times out of 15 games. Wow. And in their past six seasons, a remarkable 81 wins and five losses. This is going to be a battle, my friends. It really is. And let's not forget, Marion Stein local holds the record for most state titles, wins, in the state of Ohio with 12. My friends, I'm just going to say this. What a battle. Two great rich and tradition football programs. But I like Kirkland at the final to win this game. It's going to be a battle. But again, Kirkland will defeat Marion Stein Local. And moving on, rounding it out, Division 7 Warren JFK, 13-1, taking on New Bremen, 12-3. Warren JFK, coached by Dominic Prologo. What a job he's done since he's come on the scene. First season, 2020, where he led the Eagles to the state championship game. You know, a first-year coach and getting that team to the finals in 2020. Tremendous job. Dominic Prologo, overall record, including so far this year, 32 wins, only 7 losses. This is a team averaging 26 points a game and the blue wave on defense, they call themselves, only giving up 8 points a game on defense. New Bremen coached by Chris Schmidt, again coming in at 12-3, and three, averaging 36 points a game in the playoffs, giving up a stingy 14 points a game. My friends, I'm just going to say this. This is going to be true revenge 
for the Warren JFK Eagles. We all know Dominic Prologo's first year, like I stated, led the Eagles to the championship final against New Bremen. New Bremen won that game in 2020, shutting the Eagles out 31 to nothing. Again, my friends, this is going to be sweet revenge. I like JFK to win this game and bring the state crown back to Warren, Ohio. Again, Kennedy's won two state titles, 1991 and that tremendous run of 2016 where they defeated a very good Minster team 24-6. to My friends, I'm just going to say this. If you're the defensive coordinator for New Bremen, you're scratching your head. Number one, Kennedy does not just have one or two players they need to stop. They have a team. They are led by quarterback Caleb Hadley. What a tremendous job he's done all year. He doesn't pass the ball a lot, even though he, he does have a good arm. His bread and butter is running the football. They have Antonio Smith. What a job he's done running the football. They have anchoring the line, Patrick Vallant on offense. He's also the defensive lineman. Thomas Vallant, his brother, strong safety. What a job he's done. Ambrose Hozo at linebacker. This young man hits like a Mack truck. What more can I say? Aiden Rossi at wideout. Eaton, another very good uh, running back. You know, my friends, I just got to say this. JFK is the true definition of the word team. I see Kennedy again beating New Bremen in sweet revenge. That's my Buckeye Vinny prediction. Again, I like St. Ed's, I like Hoban, I like Cheney, I like Cincinnati, Wyoming, I like South Range, I like Kirkland, and I like Warren JFK Eagles to all take the state crown. My friends, if you are new to my channel, please, by all means, click on the subscribe button. If you like this video, please click on the like button, and I really want to hear your comments for this video. Like always, peace out, God bless. High school football in Ohio heating up big time in the finals this Friday and Saturday at Tom Benson Stadium in beautiful Canton, Ohio. Buckeye Vinny's out of here.